Okay, so I am making this video so that we can quickly summarize every single thing about Beck in terms of how good he is should you summon and how good he is as how good is he as a free to play character without dupes how good is this character i'm going to be going over that in today's video i'm going to be talking about the testing that i have done i already made a separate video focusing on that i'm going to be talking about improvements that they need to do with him as well to make him even more stronger because he does kind of feel underwhelming when you actually think yo how am i going to keep this guy alive and I think they need to do something about that. And I hope they really buff him up. As there have been buffs in this game, yes, they have buffed up Se well, Sung Jin Woo's weapon. They haven't really buffed up any Hunter so far. So I do think we have a slight option, opportunity, sorry, that a slight, uh, there's a slight chance, sorry, that they can actually buff him up if enough people talk about it. So how good is he? I think he is a very, very good character. When it comes to, is he the best DPS? Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's other people that's testing him out, but I'm, I, in terms of using advancements and whatnot, this is Beck with zero advancement, and I've tested him out compared to the other characters that I have, and he always comes up on top. In terms of DPS, he slowly, he, he shows that he is the best at DPSing. However, it doesn't mean he's the best character in the game, simply because the survivability issue is too great. That makes him very, very squishy and makes it very, very annoying and hard to recommend summoning for him. So if they can, if they can fix that, that would be great. But in general, how good is he? He's very, very strong. Should you summon, you can summon for him. But be well aware, the gameplay style is going to be extremely different. You have to be sweaty palming everything. You have to make sure you don't get too, a hit too often. Although he wants to lose HP, you don't want it to be done by the enemy because the damage they deal is usually higher compared to the damage you can do by inflicting bleed to yourself over here. Well, the bleed damage is really, really huge, but it's not like you're doing this often. So, uh, well, five seconds without getting bleed on yourself. If you take a look at the cooldown plus the duration of the bleed done to you. But at the end of the day, we do want a supporter in the future that can heal and apply shield at the same time. And trust me, this guy is going to hit like a truck. Now, another issue with this character that I want to mention is the fact that he can't really fulfill his main DPS role or his huge amount of DPS in world bosses. Now, world bosses, I'm assuming, is every single... Um, ranking bosses that we have like power of destruction in the future we're also going to get more world bosses as well so hey it means he can't basically fulfill his maximum effort in that type of content and that actually hurts him a bit because as you can see skill damage the user deals to targets inflicted with bleed with magic beast claw and slaughter is increased by 20 percent this is a huge amount of buff or a huge amount of dps loss since you can't even apply bleed to the target and that is essentially killing him um if you can't apply bleed that kills him actually i haven't really properly tested that actually it says you can't to world bosses but is this really a world boss it's power of destruction is it is it the same thing so let's go in here i'm going to exit out i just want to see if bleed can actually be applied we're just going to see the um icon so i think they said it can't be but we need to check again Maybe it just mean to reduce the effect. But if, if it does mean you can't even apply it once, then it just shows that he won't be able to fulfill the huge amount of damage that he could do simply because he can't even stack bleed on the opponent. Not that we really needed to deal bleed damage. We just want the bleed on the opponent. So uh, let's see. So when we're attacking, okay, yeah, there's no bleed. There is no bleed, my friends. There is no bleed. So, uh yeah okay it affects him he, he's just lost 20 percent extra damage honestly and that sucks and in the future we're going to get more world bosses and more ranking events more ranking stages so therefore he just can't be used there or you can use him there but obviously in the future we're going to get better dps as well so therefore he just isn't going to be recommended in here and i hope in the future all he really needs actually is a support character that can apply shield and any little bit of healing literally any little bit of healing would help him out 
and that's all he really needs besides the fact that bleeding has been completely nerfed in world bosses that's another issue so should you summon for him if you are free to play player i don't think it's a bad idea to summon for him but because we know that chai is coming out for global launch and we can assume that chai is going to be absolutely amazing based on the fact that she is a main character in the webtoon as well as she's Sung Jin Woo's wife so she has to have a presence in this game and especially when global launch happens all eyes is on this game and to get as much money as possible they've got to release a good character they literally have to release a good character so I am banking that she is going to be good and definitely going to be someone you want to summon for so you might just want to save your resources for that so that is the main important thing to free to play players and that's why a lot of free to play players say skip including myself i say skip just because of the assumption that chai is actually going to be good but once again we don't have a full clear cut um idea on how broken she's going to be but we just basically assuming she will be broken so i do apologize if she turns out she's she's garbage and you missed out on, out on beck but then again if like Beck's gameplay is very unique and weird that a lot of people might not even like in general. So my damage testing showed that he did more damage than Troy even as one dupe. Uh, the damage testing, I already made a video on that, check it out. But essentially, I went him, I took him into a boss and the amount of damage done, I, I tried to, um, the break bar of the bar of the enemy. So I just saw the amount of damage he can do within one minute and then I just said okay he does way more damage than Troy um, in within one minute against this boss so therefore his DPS is better than Troy. That's, that's literally all I did and um, he was able to bring down the boss's HP from 56 all the way to 40 in one minute compared to Troy who was able to bring it from 56 all the way to um, 47 sometimes 46 so hey there's a big difference in damage over there it's it's a six bar difference so that's worth noting um but then again i also mentioned that my build for him is slightly better compared to my build for troy so um that's also a, a influence on troy but if you have yourself a maxed out troy versus a maxed out beck maxed out troy will come out on smoke slash him smash him in the ground troy is just on in uh, is just undeniably the strongest um dps character once you've maxed him out completely um beck is also very very strong but it doesn't really help with uh actually let me quickly see does that is there any healing or like revivability nope there was nothing uh so yeah it doesn't really help him when there's no ability to revive or heal himself even if you max him out and you can deal insane amount of damage it still makes him a very squishy character so yes in terms of will and uh, the the best characters for will it's going to be Choi. but at the same time wills would just always will for both characters anyway so it doesn't really matter for free to play players though Choi is the better option to go for his banner is going away very very soon so you've got to make a decision right now I'm going to try and release this video before his banner goes away. But you got 12 hours, guys. You have 12 hours from recording this video to choose whether you want to go in for dupe for Troy or get an extra character for him. I will probably say the one dupe really didn't help too much from what I can see. Um, I would just say get a new character. But then again, you have to make sure you have enough to actually level him up. So, hey, take a look at your resources. Um, it's always better to get a new toy to play with than just working on one character. That's why I never really go hard on a unit because uh, what's the point? I want to play with new toys. Um, that's why I want to make sure I get Chai in the future. I'd rather just get one copy of a character than try and invest heavily into them. So it is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to try, try and work on him a little bit more in terms of like... Actually, his gear is perfect right now. I'm just going to leave his gear for now. His, his gear is done. So what I really need to do is level up his skills, I guess. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I really need to do with him. So I will say that to improve on him, what the devs need to really, really do is uh, make sure that there is a support character that comes out in the future. That's that's pretty much all they really need to do. A support character that can apply shield. Shield is his best friend, guys. Shield is literally going to help him out a lot. Plus a little bit of healing. A little bit of healing will come in very, very clutch for him. So that's worth noting as well. Um, so yeah, let's let's see. Is there any way to upgrade him? Oh yeah, there's still a bug with him, by the way, with his weapon. His SSR weapon is currently bugged. 
so actually even his ssr weapon would make him lose hp even more if i remember correctly let's let's go ahead and check take a look at it so i haven't got it in his ssr weapon uh 20 more summons or 15 more summons and i'll guarantee it so to take a look at the weapon what does it do when increases users basic attack by eight percent when the user's basic attack hits takes damage equal to 0.5 percent of current hp but deals damage equal to 0.2 of the current hp to target of your own hp it's not the target's own hp that would be broken if it's the target's own hp uh but deals damage equal to 0.2 percent of current hp to target of current hp it's not even max hp it's your current hp that's stupid then that's just garbage if you're meant to lose hp then what's the point of dealing damage based on your current hp it doesn't sound that great guys i can't even lie actually if we max this out damn the basic attack damage increases insane so actually well then again it's maxed out properly uh I would love to max this out actually just so I can increase his damage even more um, 20 days and I'll get one copy I should be able to do a couple more of the draws and then hopefully get at least two extra copies of the of the gear that would be cool um, anyways let me know down in the comment section if you guys are still deciding on whether you should summon uh, like I said um, he's a good character for DPS but not the best character in the game there is an issue with like he, like the fact that he can't heal himself that's a big annoyance and makes him very very squishy but in terms of dps yeah evox a low investment evox uh low advancement uh low power investment whatever it's called evox this video boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out